Hey, it's Bryce Taylor with the City School Student Media Team, and today we are celebrating the grand opening of three 21st century buildings, John Rurock, Calvin M. Rodwell, and right now we're at Baybrook Elementary Middle School. Let's get this party started. signify the kind of spaces and expectations we have for all young people in the city of Baltimore. All right, I'm here with Principal Reese. Principal Reese, can you tell me, how does it feel to have a brand new building? I'm so excited to have a brand new building. Our school began with three different buildings um, when I first started here four years ago. And now we have this amazing 21st century building where all of our scholars can be underneath on one roof and get the latest 21st century technology. That's awesome. Hello. This is oh, nice. Oh, here we, we got the art room. Let's go check this out. All righty. I like this. First of all, first of all, look at that view. Look at all the light that's coming in here. That's what I'm talking about. When you have open windows, it makes the kids super happy. You can tell there's some future artists going to be created in this room. They're going to be inspired to create art and I'm so excited to be able to introduce the children to something new and something better and I pray that it will give them the ability to be more creative. You know when we teach them in a building like this in a new environment it's giving the community an opportunity to see how great our kids are. Check me out on this sweet podium right now we're in the theater room. Theater for elementary middle that's dope. I'm getting their Shakespeare on to be or not to be. Out of other things that they're offering for us like theater, drama, it's so much more offering to them, to prepare them for the world that they got to go out into. You know, I feel like they can go and they can learn. I feel like this is, should have been the standard and so hopefully going forward, this is the standard for, for school, our school system here in Baltimore. Me and my friends, we finally get to learn in a brand new environment. We have bigger hallways and we have more, we have more classrooms than we had before. And now we're in the typical classroom, but even still, it's still 21st century. New desks, new chairs, new projector, new whiteboard. This place is dope. And right over here, you have something called a chill zone, a place where our students, if anything becomes overwhelming or if you just need a break, Come over here, you sit in the bing bag chair, and you chill out. I love Big Joe's, these are great. Just chilling. I already feel relaxed. This is what we need for our young generation. Look at this. Look at all this, first of all, one, two, three, four, five, six hooks. You know, I'm not jealous, but when I was in elementary school, the, the lockers were not this generous. These kids, these kids got it made. It's not a 21st century school visit if we don't check out the gym. Ball might be imaginary, but the fun is real. We are bringing back our after school programming. So definitely sports, um, clubs. We're gonna have an art club for that amazing art room. <coughs> Nurse. Nurse. All right. Now tell me this doesn't look like the doctor's office. This is the health suite. We have curtains, we have nice beds here. Right over there, there's a waiting area. This is too good to be true. The young, the next generation, they got it in store. If you have a good meal, you have a great education, you have a great state of mind. So overall well-being of the kids that are our future. It's nice to know that the health suite is actually incorporated into the school. That's, that's great. So during the presentation, this is the room that Principal Reese was talking about, the Bay Center. We have a classroom, we have a laundry room, pantry, and offices all for the community. This is what the future looks like, community interaction. Check this out, check this out. Washer and dryer. That's too dope. That is way too dope. This is amazing. In that space, we're going to have after-school programming. Um, we're going to use that space to have activities for our parents, so have, build parent partnership. And we're also going to do things to support student wholeness, so having mental health providers and social workers in that space. We are very proud that today Baltimore City has invested in our futures. Thank you. What an incredible tour of the Baybrook Elementary and Middle School. You can tell students are going to flourish here. But here's the thing. Today marks the day that 
14 21st century schools have been opened. And not to mention, there are 14 more on the way. It is an incredible time to be a part of the Baltimore City Public Schools family, especially if you're a student. This has been Bryce Taylor with the City Schools Student Media Team. See you next time.